Hey everybody, this is Rykard here again, and welcome to another Pokemon Sun and Moon movesets video. Today's video, we're going to be talking about the new Pokemon with big meaty claws, Crabominable. So let's get started by taking a look at this Pokemon's typing, abilities, and stats. So to start things off, Crabominable is a fighting ice type Pokemon, and is actually the first Pokemon to possess this unique typing, which in and of itself is amazing stab coverage due to the sheer number of things that this can hit super effectively. As to the abilities though, the first one that it gets is Hyper Cutter, which is an ability that makes it so that your opponent cannot lower your physical attack. Its next ability is Iron Fist, which is an ability that boosts the power of your punching attacks, and its last ability is Anger Point, which is an ability that maximizes your physical attack to plus 6 whenever you are the recipient of a critical hit. And it's important to note that this Pokemon is one of the only Pokemon with this ability that resists Frost Breath, so if you're going to use this Pokemon in doubles, Hitting it with a Frost Breath is going to immediately activate its Anger Point, and the Frost Breath in itself isn't going to do that much damage because this Pokemon will resist it. So kind of a cool little double strat there if you want to use that. As for its stats though, it possesses a base 97 HP, which is a pretty good HP stat in and of itself, but its defenses unfortunately are still pretty low, being base 77 defense and 67 special defense. So while the HP will provide a bit of a buffer zone to allow you to take some hits, you're still not going to be the bulkiest thing in the world. As for its attacking stats though, it possesses a base 132 physical attack, meaning that this Pokemon will hit very hard from the physical side. Its special attack however is not quite as high, so you're probably more often than not going to be using a physical attacking set on this Pokemon. And lastly, it's important to note that this Pokemon does have a base 43 speed stat, so it is fairly slow, however it could potentially be used with some significant speed investment as well to allow it to outspeed key Pokemon that it normally wouldn't be able to outspeed and take them out as a result. But with that, let's get started by taking a look at the first moveset that I have for you in this video. So for this first moveset, it's going to be designed to basically make Crabominable as much of an all-out attacker as it can possibly be. So I'm going to show you three variants on this moveset, the first one being the one you're looking at right now, which seeks to basically maximize its speed to allow it to outspeed whatever it possibly can in order to deal as much damage with its attacks without having to obviously have your opponent hit you first. So we're going to start this one off by giving it a Jolly Nature to increase its speed but lower its special attack, and then running either the Hyper Cutter or Iron Fist ability. As to the EVs, we're going to put 252 into its physical attack to max that out, 4 into its special defense, and then the remainder 252 EVs into its speed to max that out as well. As to the item, we're either going to go with a Choice Band to boost its physical attack further, Choice Scarf to boost its speed further, a Life Orb to boost the damage of all of its attacks at the cost of losing 10% of your health due to recoil, an Expert Belt to boost the damage of all of your super effective moves, which this Pokemon has a ton of, an Assault Vest to increase your special defense a little bit more, or Leftovers to allow this Pokemon to recover a little bit of HP at the end of every turn. As to the moves though, the first thing that we're going to go with is going to be our main stab ice type attack, which is going to come in the form of either Ice Punch or Ice Hammer. Ice Punch being a move you are all familiar with and is boosted by Iron Fist, whereas Ice Hammer is a new move that works very similar to Hammer Arm in that it lowers your speed when you hit your opponent, but it's basically the Ice type variant. Now this is the stronger of the two moves, even though they're both boosted by Iron Fist. However, if you don't want to deal with the speed drop of Ice Hammer, Ice Punch is still an acceptable alternative. As for its next move, we're going to be going with Close Combat as your main fighting type stab attack. It's also important to note that Close Combat is not boosted by Iron Fist, despite what you might think, so please keep that in mind. Um, and for your next move slot, either running Stone Edge or Earthquake for some additional type coverage, and then for your last move, either running Brutal Swing, which is a new Dark type move, or Pursuit to give you some Dark type coverage as a way to potentially deal with any Ghost types that would be immune to your Fighting type moves, or possibly running Sleep Talk on the set to make it a good Pokemon for Sleep Fodder if you predict a Sleep Powder or Spore or other Sleep Inducing move to be used. It's also important to note that this Pokemon, being an Ice type, would be a perfect Pokemon to make use of this because you, you could predict a sleep move to be used, switch in Crabominable, and then your opponent thinks you're asleep, but go for Sleep Talk and then hit that Grass type with a super effective Ice move if you get lucky there. So that is a strategy there. Or possibly run Endeavor as a last ditch effort to do some damage to your opponent. It's also important to note that this Pokemon does learn Crab Hammer. I have yet to really see what Pokemon this move would benefit to hit, that it's attacks that I have right here don't already cover, but it's important to at least note that as well if you want to make use of it. 
On the other side of things, though, we could also run this Pokemon a little bit more bulky and a little bit more physically offensive if you don't feel like you need all the speed EVs. So this set is going to use an adamant nature to boost your physical attack but lower your special attack. And then for the EV spread, changing up just a little bit to include 72 HP EVs just for a little extra bulk, 252 physical attack EVs like before, and then only running 184 speed EVs, which will give you enough speed to outpace base 65 speed Pokemon that aren't running investment, which for purposes of this set is mainly just looking at Umbreon, because it's good if this Pokemon is faster than it, so it can hit it with a close combat. As for the item though, the only thing that changed is that we removed a Choice Scarf from this variant of it, but everything else pretty much stayed the same. On the other other hand though, you could also run this Pokemon effectively under the effects of Trick Room if you also change up the ability and EV spread just a little bit. So in this variant, we're going to run a Brave Nature to increase your physical attack but lower your speed, and for the EVs, maxing your HP with 252 EVs into that, and maxing your physical attack with 252 EVs into that, and putting the remainder 4 EVs into its special defense to give it just one more point of bulk in that stat. But overall, all three of these options are perfectly viable for this Pokemon to allow it to dish out a ton of damage and be able to function on a variety of different teams. As for this next moveset, we're going to be focusing on giving Crabominable a little bit more sustain in battle, because like I said before, its stab attacks pretty much cover the majority of things you're going to be up against. So for this set, we're going to run an Adamant Nature to give it a boosted physical attack but lower special attack, and then for the ability, again, going with either Hyper Cutter or Iron Fist like before. As for the EVs, we're going to put 252 into its HP to max that out, 252 into its physical attack to max that out as well, and then put the remainder 4 EVs into its special defense. And for the item, going with Leftovers or a Chesto Berry to work in combination with the move Rest. As for the moves though, the first attack that we're going to go with, again, is going to be our main Stab Ice type attack in the form of Ice Punch or Ice Hammer. And since we're not running a lot of speed on the set, Ice Hammer is probably a better option over Ice Punch, but if you are somebody that doesn't want to have your speed stat lowered regardless, Ice Punch is still a really good option. In addition to this, we are also going to run a Stab Fighting type move in the form of Close Combat or Brick Break. And the reason why I chose to include Brick Break here is because, in addition to the fact that it could also remove screens, which is really cool, it doesn't lower your defenses like Close Combat does. And since the goal of this set is to give this Pokemon a little bit more sustainability, you might not want to have the negative drawback of using Close Combat like that, especially because we're not running a lot of speed. So it's not like it's going to be outspeeding a ton of things that it could even not worry about the lowered defenses with that move. So Brick Bake's still a reliable option. As for your next attack though, we're going to be going with Rest as a way to recover all of our HP back up to full and get rid of any negative statuses we may have received. This is also possibly to be worked in in combination with a Chesto Berry to completely ignore the fact that you are then asleep. So it's kind of a free heal to full health. But if you don't want to go with the Chesto Berry in your last move slot, we're going to go with Sleep Talk as a way to allow us to still be a threat even while asleep. If you do, however, do use this Chesto Berry in your last move slot, you can give this Pokemon a little bit more utility by either giving it Toxic as a way to potentially cripple walls that will actually resist your stab coverage, or even Scald as a way to potentially fish for a chance to burn your opponent because it does have a 30% chance to do that and could possibly cripple a wall or physical attacker with the burn damage that you might acquire. Though it's a little bit of a gimmick in that sense, but it still can be useful. Though Toxic, I feel, is a more reliable option for the amount of things that Toxic is able to poison and weaken that Crabominable would normally struggle with. As for this next moveset, it's more or less designed to give Crabominable an extra shot at potentially sweeping its opponent's team. So we're going to start this one off by giving it a Jolly Nature to increase its speed but lower its special attack, go with the Hyper Cutter or Iron Fist abilities like before, and go with an EV spread of 252 attack EVs, 4 speed special defense EVs, and 252 speed EVs. For the item this time, however, we're going to be running Icium Z, which is a Z move item to mainly be used in combination with Hail as a way to not only set up Hail on the battlefield, but also boost your speed by one stage. Because as I've mentioned before in a couple of my other videos, when you use a Weather Z move, like Hail Z in this case, it also boosts your speed by one stage, thus allowing Kerbominable to actually be a decently fast Pokemon and potentially take out its opponents. The other thing to keep in mind though is that because of Hail being a unique weather in the sense that there's not a ton of Pokemon that resist Hail, like there are a ton of Pokemon that resist this chip damage from Sandstorm, this is actually a particularly good move for getting a little bit of extra damage on your opponents while you're trying to sweep your opponent's team 
as well as also possibly providing some hail support to your team if you have another Pokemon or team that can benefit from hail. Also, to keep note of this, um, your opponent probably won't want to have an ice type on the field anyway with Crabominable out because it has a super effective stab fighting move, which in this case is in the form of close combat. Additionally, for this set, I removed Hammer Arm as an option because of the fact that it's going to lower our speed and the whole point of the set is to be faster. So Ice Punch is going to be our main ice type attack. And then for our last move, either going with Stone Edge or Earthquake as a coverage option. As for this last moveset, we're going to be focusing on making Kerbominable a bulky physical attacker. So we're going to start off by giving it a careful nature to increase its special defense and lower its special attack, and for the ability, again, either going between Hyper Cutter or Iron Fist. As to the EVs, we're going to put 252 into its HP to max that out, 224 EVs into its special defense to almost max that out, and then put the remainder 32 EVs into its speed just to make it a little bit faster and capable of outspeeding base 45 speed Pokemon that it falls just shy of outspeeding due to its lower base 43 speed stat. And as for the item, going with leftovers as a way to allow it to recover some HP at the end of every turn. For the moves though, the first one that we're going to go with is going to be bulk up as a way to boost both our physical attack and our physical defense by one stage. And with our special defense EV investment and nature, this will essentially allow Kerbominable a decent way of taking hits from both the physical and special sides. As for your main Ice type attack, again going between Ice Punch or Ice Hammer, and Ice Hammer might seem weird here because I am choosing to run a bit of speed to allow it to outspeed base 45 speed Pokemon, but more often than not you might not even need the speed investment, but it's kind of like a security blanket in case you need or in case you want to have it, so you could very much consider just running full special defense EVs if you'd like to. I personally like to have it here even if I am running Ice Hammer, but both of these options are a viable choice. As for your next move though, because we are boosting, again we're not going to make use of close combat and instead make use of Brick Break as our main fighting type attack. This Pokemon would severely benefit from having Drain Punch on this set, so I'm assuming or hoping at some point it gets a move tutor move in the form of Drain Punch which would be fantastic for it. Um, but also we could run Rest in this set to make it kind of a rest talking set that is a mono attacker in the form of just your ice type stab or possibly even your fighting type stab though keep in mind that nothing is immune to ice moves whereas ghost types are immune to fighting types so it's a little bit of a riskier move to make we could also theoretically run substitute in the last move slot as a way to allow this pokemon to get behind a protective barrier to shield it from attacks and statuses namely things like burns that'll cripple its physical attack but also things like toxic that'll make it a lot easier to wear down over time or we could even just run rest in the last move slot to allow this Pokemon to just regain all of its health and get rid of any negative status. Keep in mind though, you will have to wait a couple turns to wake up, but the idea behind using this is either you could have multiple opportunities to set up with this Pokemon, possibly have a heal beller on your team to heal up your sleep status after you've switched out, or just becoming bulky enough through bulk up and your special defense investment to be able to survive long enough to wake up after you do go for rest. So it's another option to keep in mind. But anyways everybody, that is it for this video. So I hope you enjoyed my exhibition on potential Crabominable movesets. I find this Pokemon to be extremely interesting and its typing is just super awesome for dealing lots of offensive damage. But that's just my personal opinion of it. Please let me know what you think of this Pokemon in the comments. And as always, take care, goodbye, and I will see you all next time.